bottom of the fifth. Four nothing Hillsboro. Justin Seeger leads it off. Single to right his first time up and his first professional at bat. Kyle Seeger's brother takes low ball one. Justin, a 12th rounder this year out of North Carolina, Charlotte, and he's been with him since the beginning of the year, but the opening series of the year, he got a cut on his right arm in Spokane. It got infected. He, he needed antibiotics. One hopper to third. McCurry throws it to first in time. One down here in the fifth inning forever. It brings up the catcher, Christian Carmichael. Don't worry, I'm not going to forget. You're just sitting on the edge of your seat waiting for the story about the birthdays. Carmichael, the catcher, struck out swing on a high fastball his first time up. Hops coach Ben Petrick was born April 7th, 1977, so I looked it up. That was opening day of the 1977 baseball season. Pitch waved at, foul tipped into the glove. Catcher Josbel Gutierrez, 0-1 to Carmichael. Kevin McCarthy, the Hops trainer, was born April 5th, 1983. That was opening day of the 1983 season. Pitch high and tight to Carmichael. One ball, one strike. Jamadric Magruder on deck. Then there's Hops pitching coach Doug Drabeck, who was born July 25th, 1962. A 1-1 pitch. Fastball is outside. 2-1 the count. July 25th, 1962, the day Doug Drabeck was born, and the day Stan Musial became the National League's all-time run batted in leader. Fly ball toward the gap in right center field. That ball will split Escara and Ratliff and hit off the scoreboard. Picking it up is Ratliff and flips it in to John Leonard. And it's a one-out, two-base hit for Christian Carmichael. Just to the left of the hand-operated scoreboard, the Ebbets Field knockoff here at Everett Memorial Stadium. Third hit off of Gerdeman in four and a third innings. Demodric Magruder hit the ball hard his first time up, singling up the middle. Number nine hitter in the order. Otto Vicente, the hops manager, was born August 1st, 1979. So baseball fans, and if you have been around since, say, the 1960s, you probably remember what happened early in August in 1979. August 1st, 1979, Otto Vicente was born. That was the day before Thurman Munson died in a plane crash in Canton, Ohio. A look back, the pitch to Magruder. Fastball swung on and fouled back, 0 1 the count. So I looked it up for Hops hitting coach J.R. House. Couldn't find anything significant that happened in baseball on November 11th, 1979, his birthday. We were in the thick of the Iran hostage crisis then, but nothing in particular in baseball. Next pitch, spins Magruder around, and it hit him. It grazed him going by, and they're two on with one out, a hit batsman. Gertie hits his first batter this year. Michael Faulkner comes up, grounded to third and walked. 4 nothing Hillsboro, bottom of the fifth inning. And then I looked up Hop's strength and conditioning coach, David Lanye, his last name is spelled L-A-S-N-I-E-R, and everybody calls him Laser, pronounced Lanye. And this may be the best one of all. Two on, one out, righty to lefty. The pitch to Faulkner, and he swings. It's a fly ball towards center field. Ratliff going back. He's got a play. He reels it in. Tagging at second is Carmichael. He takes a couple of steps to third to draw a throw, which comes into Gebhardt. And Carmichael does a 180 and gets back to second. Shortstop Jack Reinheimer comes up. Two on, two out. Four nothing hops. Bottom of the fifth. David Lanye, the hop strength and conditioning coach, was born October 11th. 1981. That was the day the Montreal Expos won their only playoff series ever. They beat the Phillies in the division series in 1981. That was the day David Lanier was born, and he was born in Quebec. 
Fastball taken high. Ball one to Reinheimer. Top strength and conditioning coach David Lanier born in Quebec. On the day, Quebec's Major League Baseball team, the Montreal Expos, won their only playoff series ever. 1-0 pitch inside underneath the hands of Reinheimer, 2-0. 